So what we want to address in this uh, video is the second question, which is, how does the coronavirus infect us? What's, what is that infection process like? What's the molecular mechanism whereby this RNA genome inside the, the envelope of the virus how does that get delivered into the cytoplasm of the cell that this is infecting? Uh, so let me, let me just go over that again uh, with this model that you, you've seen before. We have a yellow membrane shell of the coronavirus. Inside that membrane shell is the single RNA genome. On the outside of this membrane, there are these magenta colored spike proteins. And you now know that the key to this infection process is that these spike proteins here are looking for a receptor protein here. This is a patch of the, of the surface of the cell that this virus is trying to infect. And these spike proteins are looking for a green <clears throat> ACE2 protein. That's its so-called receptor. ACE2 is the angiotensin converting enzyme. <clears throat> it's actually a protease on the surface of, of the cells that line your respiratory system. It has nothing at all to do with uh, virus infection. Angiotensin is a small peptide hormone that uh, has to be processed or activated by this yellow ACE2 protein uh, so that it can function in regulating blood pressure, of all things. But the spike proteins of coronavirus have just evolved so that they can recognize and bind to that ACE2 protein, and then that triggers the beginning of this infection cycle that we want to talk about today. So we're going to do that in, in one of two ways. I'm first going to show you schematically how this process works using one of David Goodsell's molecular landscapes. And then following that, we'll, we'll take a close look at the structure of this spike protein and of the ACE2 protein, and in particular, the interaction between the two of them. Hi there, Mark here, a colleague of Dr. Tim Hermans. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other coronavirus resources available at www.3dmoleculardesigns.com slash scienceofcoronaviruses.htm, including a paper modeling activity where you can create your own physical model of a coronavirus. We hope you enjoy, and thanks.